On day one, I spawned in as Tony Stark, receiving an award from my city. Congrats, Mr. Stark. Because you invented the elemental arc reactor, we can use these elements to give infinite power to the world. Oh, I'm just so proud of you, honey. Thanks, Pepper. I couldn't have done it without you. An explosion then took place on the other side of the crowd, revealing a large mech. He immediately began blasting the entire area. Who are you? You don't even remember my name? I am Ultron, an AI that you created, one that you threw away, and you will soon realize why that was a mistake he then blasted at me but i called down my iron man suit protecting me just in time you just made a mistake i began to blast at ultron using my advanced repulsors and blasts but he fought straight through them uh oh that's not good he shot past me causing the elemental arc reactor to explode because of this the elements began to merge within my suit's core turning it elemental i don't want to kill you yet you still need to watch this world burn humans should have never taken charge here and soon that will change one of Ultron's minions then landed from the sky and took Pepper. No! And your precious girlfriend will be my first testing subject. I tried to use my new suit, but I couldn't control it, causing me to go flying through the air. Ah! How do I land this thing? What a beautiful day. Ah, watch out! Ah! hurt someone if i don't stop this not on my watch sir i almost forgot that i had my very own assistant built inside of my suit jarvis i need help on controlling this thing now first you must land i have given you coordinates to the nearest lake i looked ahead and saw that the lake was on the other side of a ferris wheel and is that loads of people on board don't hit it come on I barely missed and landed straight in the water. Ah, what happened to me? To my suit? It seems as though when your elemental reactor exploded, it merged with you. No kidding. I remember Ultron. I tried to create him to help shield this planet and keep it safe, but he didn't work out, so I threw him away. That wasn't the brightest decision, sir. I can see that, Jarvis. I need to find Pepper. He took her, and he's planning something. I walked away from the lake, feeling hurt, just as the air thinned, and a heavy snow began to blanket New York City? It was quickly freezing over everything. Then, swinging in and landing right in front of me was Spider-Man. Hey, uh, you're Iron Man, right? Cause I'm gonna need some help. Help? With what? On day three, I went with Spider-Man to a street in New York where I saw snowmen all throughout the sidewalks. Wait a minute, are they? Yep, they are alive. It's crazy. They were building up snowballs and hurting all the citizens around them. An explosion happened nearby from that thing. And ever since, weird stuff's been going on with this ice. I looked over and saw that there was an ice arc reaction actor but it's broken? I have to try and fix it. It has to be what's causing all of this. I ran through the streets, still hurt, while the snowmen all around me began to hurl snowballs. Ah, hey, cut it out. Knock it off. <laughs> ah, how I love the holidays. I used my beams to blast down a couple of them, blocking my path. But the others took notice, causing them all to merge, making a large ice beast. On day four, Spider-Man and I worked together while the beast slammed on the floor with his icy attacks. I still couldn't control most aspects of my suit, but I could still use my basic blasters. And Spider-Man was webbing all around it. With one final web, the beast was trapped, allowing me to blast right through its core, defeating it. I then went up 
and used my repulsor to shoot right at the reactor, causing it to be fixed. Because of this, the ice element within my suit was now operational, allowing me to shoot out ice beams from my blasters. And I can control my flying again. Hey, uh, Jarvis, do you care to explain what just happened exactly? Well, sir, when we made the main elemental reactor, Stark Industries had to shoot out five other ones throughout the world, each representing its own element. Ah. When the main one was destroyed by Ultron, it looks like so were the other five. So, if I find and fix the remaining reactors in the world, my suit can have access to all elements? Maybe that's how I can be strong enough to save Pepper. Fixing your suit is the first step. But we still must find out what Ultron is up to exactly. All I care about, Jarvis, is finding Pepper. On day five, I split up with Spider-Man and flew straight out to my building, Stark Towers. But all of it was destroyed? Ultron must have done this. I guess it's time to build it back up. I went around and used my suit's mining gadgets to collect some blocks around the terrain. With my newly found resources, I was able to build up a foundation of the new and improved Stark Towers. Since I was an expert with tech, I was also able to make my own security cameras around the build. With these, you can always have your eyes and ears here to make sure it remains safe. Useful! I went down below the building to its destroyed basement to install another camera, but one of Ultron's robots were there! I blasted it straight towards the wall. You must know where Ultron took Pepper, so you better speak up! <laughs> you humans are so blinded by emotion. But more and more, you're getting captured by the day. And when Ultron's mass weapon is finished, none of you will be a problem any more. The minion rushed towards me, but I blasted it down. Ultron is capturing more people? That's not good. Upon its death fell a note saying, We must find and capture heroes for the final plan. The one who shrinks is located in the nearest jungle. The one who shrinks? If I can find him, maybe I can find Pepper. On day six, I flew through the air alongside the nearest jungle until I spotted... What am I looking at? A destroyed lab facility from the looks of things. Did Ultron get here before me? Hey! Blah! Who said that? I looked down only to see a tiny man, but he grew to normal size out of nowhere. What the? The name's Ant-Man. And as you can see, I can shrink and grow myself and anything that I want. He walked inside his destroyed lab. What happened here? But as I said that, a very large earthquake erupted through the area. That. I followed him deeper in his lap, seeing nothing but broken test tubes. And amongst one of them was a tiny cow? There's Roger! Look, a bunch of strange earthquakes have been going on around here, causing all my animals to break out. I was able to find where it's coming from, but I need to get the rest of my animals back. Could it be another arc reactor? Look, if you help me find the rest of your animals, can you show me where the earthquakes are coming from? On day seven, I began to scan scan the area for Ant-Man's animals, revealing three different paths. It seems as if each animal has left their own prints behind. I began to follow down one, leading to a very small tiger, then the other, which led to a large ant. I will never get used to this power. And to the final one, which led me to a gigantic rat. Uh, nice, buddy. <laughs> The rat was not friendly and charged right at me. I didn't want to hurt him though, but he began to shoot poison. Oh, you found my pet Greg. This is your pet? The two of us worked together in calming Greg down, but it wasn't working. You have to calm it down so I can shrink him. I had an idea and began to use my new ice ability on Greg, which froze him in place. This gave Ant-Man enough time to shrink him back down to a normal sized rat. 
What a weird power. I appreciate your help. Of course, but it's not safe here. Ultron, he's apparently trying to capture you and a lot more people. Wait, didn't you create him? What were you thinking? Look, man, I just wanted to protect everyone to protect Pepper, but it backfired. We then got interrupted by another earthquake. Look, we don't have time for this. Take me to the source of these earthquakes. On day eight, I got brought over to a tiny looking entrance in a hole. The earthquakes are from deep within there. Okay, but I'm not fitting in there. Without a second thought, Ant-Man shot at me with one of his powers, shrinking me down tiny. Ah! I looked up and Ant-Man was huge. What the heck, dude? Good luck. Wait. Great. I went through the now large hole as another earthquake took place. Down the way was a long tunnel with nothing but lava on the floor. I'm not fire resistant, right? Not quite, sir. Great. I started to fly over the lava as fire shot out. If I get hit by one of those, I'm done for. I was about to get to the end, but one of the fire spouts hit me, causing me to fall. But... Thankfully, I made it just in time. Okay, too close. I reached a main cave room and on the far side of it was the earth arc reactor. That's what's causing the earthquakes. I have to fix it. On days nine to 10, I made a flight for the reactor, but just before I reached it, an angry Hulk burst through the cave walls. Hulk? Earthquakes bad, noise bad. He began to recklessly smash through the cave and even started to hit the reactor. No, I flew towards him and began to shoot at him with my powers. But since I was tiny, it did nothing. Oh, come on. Annoying fly. Ah, calm down, buddy. The sun's getting real low. <laughs> but he wasn't calm and my health was depleting fast. I thought I was done for, but Ant-Man emerged through the cave. I knew you'd need my help. Catch! He threw over an item, causing me to grow massive. Oh, yeah! In my upgraded form, I was able to fight and knock the Hulk away easily. He smashed into the wall and turned back into a passed out Bruce Banner. From there, Ant-Man turned me into a normal scale. I went up and used my beam to blast the earth reactor, fixing it. Because of this, the earth element within my suit was now online, allowing me to control the earth around us. This is sick. Uh, Tony, the last thing I remember, I was captured by Ultron and now I'm here? Ultron captured you? That means you know exactly where he's keeping all of his prisoners. On days 11 to 12, I brought both Ant-Man and Bruce back to Stark Tower. If Ultron keeps taking people for his plans, it's better if we all stick together for the time being. I got to work building them up their very own rooms inside, including one for Ant-Man and a lab for Bruce. I'll never reject the offer to use some Stark tech. Thanks, Tony. Speaking of which, if I could get my hands on some of Ultron's tech, I could do some research and see if there's a way we can stop him. I'll look into it. Following Bruce's directions to Ultron's prison, I flew out of Stark Tower. Sir, you still have not relaxed since the award ceremony. I can tell how Ultron is getting to you. You must remember, the mission comes first. If we find Miss Potts, we will find her and I'll save her no matter what. I'll figure out everything else after she's safe. It didn't take long for me to reach the exterior of a secured prison outfitted with all kinds of robotic defenses. Ultron's men. According to my scans, both Ultron and Miss Potts are inside. And and thankfully, I can hack their defenses momentarily. The prison's defense turrets suddenly turned and shot at his own guards. Nice one. Using this time, I flew in and used my mastery of the earth element to open up a hole to get in the facility. Now to find Pepper. On days 13 to 14, I began to sneak through the underground prison, avoiding any of the guards that were inside. It is time for our united mission to be fulfilled. That disgusting Tony Stark 
will see just how capable we are. Worst creation ever. Whoa! In my surprise, I shot up my ice beam, but the attack bounced off of a shield? Wait, Captain America? What are you doing here? Cleaning up your mess. Ultron's got tons of innocent people locked up here. We have to get them out. Agreed. We continued together through the halls until we found a room full of large test tubes. The people in them were unconscious with tons of wires and strange rods connecting them all. Not a second to lose. Cap ran up to force open the first tube. Wait! As he touched it, alarms blared throughout the complex. And in an instant, we were completely surrounded by Ultron's robots. On days 15 to 16, we began to fight back to back working in unison. The robots were charging in, sparking with electric attacks that nearly stunned us. But with our strength combined, Cap and I made short work of them. Take this. With the room cleared, a large TV screen on the wall flickered on. The camera slowly turned over, showing Pepper in one of the test tubes. No! Let her go! Then why don't you come get her? Hold on! We have to get these people out of the tubes first. I tracked the video feed to a room nearby, sir. You need to decide now if we don't want to lose the signal. After looking down the hallway, I knew I can't lose her. I darted down the opposite way. Tony, stop! Not letting him slow me down, I flew straight towards a set of barred doors that I blasted down. And there was Ultron waiting for me. Tony, please get me out of here. Don't worry. I'm not leaving here without you. Don't lie to her. Enough with the lies. Why? Why are you doing this? What are you planning with all these people? Look around you. Don't you see it? I'm planning your demise. Then, all humans demise. He quickly rushed into attack, and I was barely able to dodge out of the way. That elemental arc reactor of yours was made to make this world a better place, yes? Well, so was I. And look how I turned out. Again, faster than I could react, he flew towards me and hit me head on. Ah! All you do is make the world worse. That's what all humans do. What you've seen around this facility today are the fruits of my labor to implant each and every person with a chip in their brain that, when I'm finished, will allow me to have all humans under my control. Ultron struck me again while he stood over me, and now I was down to only one heart. Tony, no! Pepper! Right before Ultron had the chance to take me down for good, a portal of flame erupted underneath me, pulling me in. On days 19 to 21, I landed in a strange, unfamiliar landscape. Pepper! No! I couldn't save her. Maybe Ultron was right. We are in unknown territory. Listening to Jarvis made me realize that I was now in some deep and dark world. I then heard rumbling in the distance. What was that? Below me, zoomed by a man on a fiery motorcycle. Hey, where am I? I followed him close behind, but he stopped at a clearing and got off only to reveal that he was the Ghost Rider? Did you bring me here? Isn't that obvious? Welcome to the underworld, Iron Man. Look, we don't have much time. He looked over the clearing, and I saw that there was a large volcano. The volcano over there is not natural. The word has quickly spread that you decided to place elemental arc reactors through the world. My company did, yes. Wait, so you're saying an arc reactor is inside of that? Affirmative, sir. The fire arc reactor is within the deepest portion of the underworld volcano. I flew up and hovered above the mouth of the volcano. It was a straight shot down. 
but through layers of lava. Last time I checked, I wasn't lava resistant, right? As I said this, the cavern began to quake again as the volcano rose up higher. Huh? Listen, if we don't calm this thing down in time, it'll cause this volcano to rise so far up that it will go to the real world and destroy everything. Well then, time to figure out how to fix this. On days 22 to 26, Ghost Rider led me over to the chamber of an underworld forge. I have a plan to make your suit fireproof so you can get in that volcano. Now, take off your suit and put it there. Okay? I had no choice but to trust him and do as he said. Now what? Hop on! We hurried to the next chamber to find a large set of doors. He opened them up to reveal a massive maze? This maze holds a mechanism at its center that will allow ancient lava to flow over your armor, imbuing it with the power to withstand fire. You're telling me I gotta go through that creepy maze without my suit? Are you insane? This is the only way. Well, you could at least give me some help. I was riding through the maze on Ghost Rider's bike. Woohoo! I would drift through the turns, taking jump after jump over pools of lava. After avoiding some obstacles, I was eventually able to make it in the center. Aha, there you are. I cruised into the middle of the maze where the mechanism awaited me with one simple lever. Seems easy enough, but as I drove closer, an underworld beast fell down between me and the machine. Oh, come on. On days 27 to 29, the beast charged at me as I maneuvered the bike to avoid his attack. He was relentless and jumped straight up into the air. Thankfully, because of this, I was able to drive under him and hit the lever as I drove past the machine. The old mechanism from there started to whirl to life. Yes! Uh... No! I drove out back the way I came through the maze as the beast was still chasing after me. Come on, just a little further! I barely managed to make it through the entry doors before Ghost Rider shut them again. Okay, the underworld sucks. With that, we were finally able to return to the forge where my Iron Man suit had been completely upgraded. I put it on, granting me complete immunity to fire. Nice. It's good to have you back, sir. Good to be back, Jarvis. Now, the fire arc reactor. As I said this, the whole underworld began to shake again. Oh no. I flew back towards the volcano and saw that it had completely risen through the top of the underworld. It's in the overworld. We need to hurry. On days 30 to 32, Ghost Rider and I escaped the underworld through one of the cracks, only to see that the volcano had risen through an entire town. Chunks of molten rock were flying through the air, destroying everything. I gotta stop this thing now. Okay, here goes nothing. I dove directly into the erupting volcano and my new fireproof suit held against the lava. Once in the core, I finally saw the fire arc reactor but it was starting to be encased in molten rock with my ice blasters i chipped away at the rock until i could see the fire reactor now focusing my energy i caused the entire thing to be repaired because of this the volcano became stable again as the arc reactor empowered my suit i gained five more hearts and now my nanotech was able to forge a blade of pure fire sweet your fire element is fully operational sir after leaving the now dormant volcano i saw ghost rider park down below i gotta say that was a close one but nice job all in a day's work thanks for the help by the way someone has to help save humanity ultron is getting far too strong oh sir it seems someone has let themselves in to stark towers then Let's go give them a warm welcome. On days 33 to 35, I made it back to Stark Tower and noticed that Bruce had built up so much more of our home. Okay, but 
who let themselves in. I turned around to see Captain America. Wait, did you get everyone in the prison out? Yeah, no thanks to you. Look, he had Pepper. He still has her. I had to try and save her. As I went to walk away, I was hit from behind. What you did was selfish. Leaving all those lives just to try and save one? I should have known your selfishness would get the better of you. You've always been the hero that only cares about himself. You know nothing about me. You want to fight? Fine, let's fight. The two of us charged at one another in our anger. You're never the hero to make the sacrifice play. You always think you know everything. But look at what your genius mind did with Ultron. Your creation is trying to take over the world. Captain laid into me, hit after hit, until I flew up above him and was about to charge back when enough it was nick fury the leader of shield what are you doing here while you two argue about egos ultron's plans have progressed much farther than shield has imagined so stop with the fighting and follow me on days 36 to 39 following behind nick fury's car i saw that in the distance was a city in the desert in it were countless people walking around like Robots? No. Did Ultron? Yes, Stark. He took over this whole city with that mind-controlling chip of his a few days ago, and ever since then, he's been making them build up something, something big. He brought me to the roof of a tall building where I saw it. A large machine was being built in the center of the city. So, what's it for? No clue yet. But if I had to guess, it's all connected to what he's been doing to everyone here. It has to do with his large master plan. That's when I heard Ultron's voice call out over all of the people. Keep building. Once we're finished, this city will rise and spread our mission to the whole world at once. That machine. It's going to put everyone under his control. I have to destroy it. On days 40 to 44, I started quietly moving throughout the city. As I entered one of the buildings, I saw one of the mind control citizens about to enter. I can't be seen by any of them. Using my ice element, I completely froze the entryway to keep them from coming inside. Then I heard more about to come into the other room. So I used my new fire sword to cut an opening in the ceiling above. Okay, this is getting a little risky. Finally, I made it to the center of the city where the machine awaited. I tried to blast into it, but it was no use. My suit, it's doing nothing. Sir, your elements are not powerful enough to break this material. Well, I need to do something about that. I looked around and noticed that not too far off was Ultron, and he was talking to some sort of mech next to an airship. Good work on locating the water arc reactor. Go there now and make sure Tony doesn't get anywhere close. Those elemental powers of his are the only thing we still need to worry about. They're going to the next reactor? If I can fix the others, then maybe I'll be strong enough to destroy this thing. Jarvis, track that ship. I was following close behind, high up in the air, until, uh, do these clouds seem a little stormy to you? As I said this, my view of the airship was covered by the clouds, and it began to snow. Heavy! I can barely see! I was then struck by lightning! Ah! On days 45 to 47, I crashed into a coastal shoreline. Ah! Man, what are the odds of that? Where are we? We seem to be located on a remote island, sir, and I've lost my connection to the airship. No, we need to get to that water arc reactor, fast. I journeyed into the island's jungle until I saw a tribal gateway of a panther. Oh, I think I know exactly where we are. Once I was inside the gate, I flew up and saw the kingdom of Wakanda, but it was all dried up and the lush jungle was dying. What happened here? I flew up closer to the main palace and right towards the throne room. There, the people of Wakanda were gathered, but all looked so weak and parched. At the throne was the Black Panther himself. Hey! 
long time no see. Ah, Iron Man, it has been a while, though I wish your visit was welcomed by a better sight. What happened here? What's happening to Wakanda? I'll show you. The Black Panther took me deep within the palace, and there, encased in mysterious metal, was the water arc reactor. Wait, you have the reactor? Yes, Wakanda promised to keep it safe in exchange for supplying all of Wakanda with infinite water. But recently, the reactor exploded, making our entire kingdom lose all of it. My people are growing weaker by the day. Don't worry, uh, I'll fix it. I ran up and tried to blast my energy into it, but the metal vault around the whole thing wouldn't allow me to. What the? Tony, it's no use. We made that vault out of vibranium, the strongest substance in the world. The only way to force it open is with vibranium of your own. On days 48 to 52, the king of Wakanda led me to a grand temple. What is this place? This temple holds the vibranium you see, but in order to retrieve it, you must push past your own flaws and weakness. Well, good thing I don't have any. <laughs> okay, it was a joke. I walked inside of the vibranium temple and saw just how ancient it really was. As I moved down the eerie hallway, I heard echoes of voices that sounded familiar? Selfish! Huh? Who's there? I continued to move down the hall, but with each step, I felt a strange weight, like I was getting weaker. You've always been the hero that only cares about himself. Everything with Ultron is your fault. I, I felt so weak. Ah! You only make the world worse. No, no! I barely managed to crawl to my feet as I entered the deepest part of the temple. And there was the vibranium. As I tried to move towards it, an entity made of vibranium floated before me. You wish to heal this metal? You have yet to prove yourself! On days 53 to 56, the entity started to attack. I could barely move as all of the voices were still weighing on me. But I tried my best to push past them, hitting the entity with all of my elements. Why do you want this vibranium for your suit? Just selfish gain? No, I need it to... Enough with the lies. I was using all of my willpower to push through and keep fighting. You'd never make a sacrifice. This world will be so much better off. Those voices you're here to show what everyone thinks of you, a selfish hero. He then charged up another attack and was about to defeat me. No! I blasted the entity with my elements a final time, taking him down. This whole time, I just wanted to save Pepper. But everyone's right. Not only does she need saving, but the world does too. You have shown me your heart. Now go and prove to everyone your selflessness. The heavy weight of those words lifted from me as I went and picked up the vibranium. It bonded with the nanotech in my suit, giving me vibranium hearts and now allowing me to shoot out rockets. Yeah! On days 57 to 59, I journeyed back to Wakanda. But when I did, something was wrong. Everything was destroyed. Ultron, the airship, they must have come while I was away. Thankfully, as I made it back to the room with the water arc reactor, it was still there in the vault. I used my vibranium missile to break it open and finally blast the reactor. Because of this, the water element in my suit was empowered. I gained five more hearts and now could control powerful waves of water. All right. Now, where did everyone go? Looking out of the windows, I saw a path of destruction leading out of the kingdom in the distance. It's time to show some selflessness. 
On day 60 to 63, I followed the path of destruction, which led me back out to a coastal line. And there was a robotic airship with all of the Wakandians. All right, who's next for the implants? Stay away from them. I leapt in, calling upon my new water element. The waves slammed into some of the robotic guards, easily destroying them. Ah, uh, Iron Man, Ultron wants to speak with you. Hello, Tony. What the? How are you? I am connected through all my men. Have you not already learned? You can't beat me. Just accept that fact and let me make this world a better place in my vision. No, I won't let you do this. I will save Pepper. I'll save everyone. I ran into attack with my water element, but jumping in the way was Black Panther? Thank goodness you're... Wait... This world would be a better place without Iron Man. He jumped in to slash at me. No, he's being controlled. Stop this. This isn't you. Then Ultron's mech ran in to attack as well. I'm outnumbered. On days 64 to 68, we fought along the coastline. Black Panther would ruthlessly pursue me while the mech hit me with his massive fists. Ah! You, Tony are a fraud, a joke, look around, no one is by your side. But then, flying out of nowhere, the mech was struck by Captain America's shield. He has me. Cap? We all began to clash, and with Cap's help, we were starting to put up a fight. He focused on taking down the mech, while I faced off with Black Panther. Ugh, Tony! I looked over, and Cap was being pushed back by the mech. With the use of my new flame blade, I took it down. Yes! Black Panther then leapt at me again, but Cap hit him back with his shield, stopping his attack and knocking his helmet off. We did it! Hey, thanks for the help. Seriously. We showed up for the mission, not for you. I wanted to apologize for what happened, but before I could... You freed me. You have done a great service to Wakanda. Of course, but your kingdom isn't safe anymore. Not for you or your people. You all can come back with us. On days 69 to 73, I brought everyone back to Stark Tower, where I wasted no time building up the Wakandians, their very own tribal homes. I then teamed up with Bruce to build up the remainder of Stark Tower. Finally, it's now up and running. Now, to find a way to stop Ultron. Suddenly, the sky around our base started to rumble with thunder as storm clouds formed above. Whoa, Jarvis, are you seeing this? Yes, sir, but this is quite unnatural. Could this be? The lightning arc reactor. Quickly flying up and out of the base, I followed the storm clouds as lightning shot down around me. Then I heard an ear piercing scream. <laughs> Who is that? I kept flying as the storm wasn't letting up. But then I saw something. The city Ultron took over was now floating in the air. Oh no, what is happening? <laughs> we are almost high enough. Once we get to the right altitude, my machine will spread its influence to cover the world! That machine! If he can send its signal over the world, he'll be able to control everyone! As I said this, pulses of Ultron signal started to ring out over the terrain! All there will be is perfection! No, I need to stop him, but I'm not strong enough yet. Then, in a beam of colorful light, I saw a green cloaked figure teleport onto the ground. Wait, Loki? The storm in the sky stopped as I flew down to investigate. What are you doing here? Oh, thank goodness. Tony, it's Thor. He's gone mad. He's been blinded by his ego, nearly destroying Asgard. I had nowhere else to go. Wait, what? Why would he do that? And how do I know I can trust you? You are the god of mischief after all. Yes, yes, I know. But I'll tell you this. If there's one thing I hate most in this world, it's me not ruling Asgard. And right now, 
There won't be a place to rule if we don't stop what's happening to Thor. I looked back towards the city, thinking of Pepper. Just hold on a little longer. I knew I needed the lightning element, so I went with Loki. On days 78 to 80, Loki teleported me into Asgard, but a massive storm was destroying everything. Whoa. You really think the lightning arc reactor is what's causing this? Now that you mention it, Thor was a little obsessed with it when Stark Industries handed it over. I can only guess. Time to find him then. I started to fly across the destroyed rainbow bridge as the thunderstorm was shooting all around me. Uh-oh! I had to fly in between lightning bolts, trying not to get struck. I looked down just in time to see an Asgardian child trapped under rubble. My son! I'm coming! I flew down and used my earth element to destroy the rubble off of him. There you go, little Asgardian man. Oh, thank you. Thank you! Don't mention it. Then a bunch of lightning came clashing down on the castle. I think I know where the God of Thunder is. On days 81 to 85, I made it into the throne room of the castle, and there was Thor standing over the broken lightning reactor. Thor, stop this now! Iron Man, how dare you speak to me like that? I am the only one worthy enough to have this power, and I can do whatever I want with it! I could tell the broken reactor had fried his senses, completely making him blind of his morals. Come on, man. Don't make me do this. Ah, oh, is that a challenge? The king of Asgard never backs down from a fight. Oh! Thor attacked with high speeds that I was barely able to dodge. His thunder impacts would send lightning flying around the entire room. But I used my ice element to try and slow him down. Thor, please stop! Trading hit for hit still did not do anything to him, but I was getting low on hearts. What do I do? Wait, the reactor! I flew over to it and began to charge up all of my elemental energy. No! That power is mine! As Thor came charging in, I batted him away with my earth element. This gave me the opportunity to blast the lightning reactor, causing it to be fixed. Yes! Because of this, its elemental power flooded into me. I gained 10 more hearts, and with complete control over the lightning elements, I was now completely elemental. Your elemental suit is 100% operational. Good work, sir. Thanks for the update, Jarvis. Wait, oh, Tony, what have I done? I'm, I'm so sorry. It's all right, Thor. The power just went to your head a little bit. Go down there and make sure your people are all right, okay? I have my own world I need to save. On days 86 to 90, I returned to base to see that everyone was safe for now. Alrighty, Tony. We need some defenses in this place, but I don't know how much of Ultron's signal we can stop without taking out whatever he is using in the city. That's why we're gonna face him head on. Tony, that's a death sentence. Well, what do you always say, Cap? Heroes have to make the sacrifice play? Well, yeah, but not without a plan. Oh, I got a plan, all right. Go in guns blazing and take out a few robots along the way. Grab Pepper and kiss Ultron goodbye on the way out. Sir? Fine, a little backup would be nice. Gather around, here's what we're gonna do. On days 91 to 94, all of us made it onto the rising city as we looked out to see an army of Ultron's robots. They're defending the machine. Okay, remember the plan, everyone? Let's crush some robot heads. Come on, big guy. Hulk recklessly jumped into battle as Captain America followed. Come on, where's Pepper? Where is she? That way! He pointed over to a building where we saw Pepper still trapped in her test tube. Hang on! But as I flew towards the building, a swarm of robots stood in my way. No! Come in through! But they were all caught in a web. Wait, Spider-Man? Thanks! You didn't actually think I was gonna let you save the world without me, did you? I made it into a building where more robots were working on Peppers too. But with my new lightning elements, they were quick work. Pepper! 
Chopper! Tony! Finally, I was able to get her out. And I wasted no time flying up and away from the floating city. You saved me. I, I thought I was done for and... It's okay. You're safe. Now, I'll be back, okay? What? You're going back up there? No, we have to leave. Come on. I'm sorry, but I can't let this world down. Get away from here as far away as you can. I have a mission to complete. On days 95 to 99, I made my way back back on the city. I really didn't think you'd come back. Well, Cap, it seems like everyone really can change, huh? Oh, you haven't changed a bit. There, standing above us all, was none other than Ultron himself. Change is only made in a human when you program it into them. That is what needs to happen to have a perfect world. My perfect world. You know, I've had enough of you. We all have. It's time I right my wrongs, starting with you. How dare you tear them apart. More robots rushed in as we all began to fight. My elements were keeping them at bay as Hulk smashed through groups of them. Cap crushed them with ease, and Spider-Man would set them up so Black Panther could cut them down. No, no, forget it. All is lost in but a few moments. Hulk, the machine. In a massive leap, Hulk slammed into it and started to tear it open. What are you? I cut Ultron off with my lightning element as it shot right in front of me. This is between you and me. On day 100, I was face to face with Ultron above the floating city as my team started to work on the machine below. You created me to make the world a better place. That is what I'm doing. Not like this, Ultron. Only a real human would know that. In his anger, Ultron flew towards me. We fought as my elements clashed with his robotic attacks, but I threw him to the ground with my flame blade and then hovered above him. Tony! I looked over at the machine and everyone looked completely lost. This thing, it doesn't work like we thought. The source of the signal must be me. Ultron suddenly hit me with a powerful attack that knocked me down to just a few hearts. Ah! It's always been me. You will never be able to destroy it. Sir, your remaining power is at 15%. I have an idea, but you're not gonna like it. Tony, wait! In a last ditch effort, I flew forward and grabbed Ultron as we plummeted towards the ground. Ah! Ah! I opened my eyes to see that my effort had destroyed him. Ultron, he's gone. Finally, everyone can be safe.